Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verse is coming from 2 Chronicles chapter 31, verse 21. It reads as follows. In everything that he undertook in the service of God's temple and in obedience to the law and the commands, he sought his God and worked wholeheartedly. And so he prospered. Sometimes I think we humans have it a little bit backwards on how to live these lives well, how to prosper and succeed, how to do well. We think, oh, okay, in order to be successful, I should have this particular job with this amount of pay in this particular house in this neighborhood in this particular car with these bank accounts. Or in order to win, I should do this particular thing to get ahead, should charm this particular person, should try to persuade this particular person in order to win. Or we think that we should be at a certain place at a certain time in our lives. And if we are not in that particular place at that particular time, we might take matters into our own hands and try and force that thing, even if it's all wrong. And the thing is, I'm not sure that all of this is actually bad. There is nothing wrong with having nice things and winning and reaching certain milestones at particular times. All those things are good. And I believe the Lord wants to bless us with those things. It's just sometimes our focus on those things and our means to go about getting them that we sort of need to take into account. Into account. I have learned in my walk with the Lord in many trial and error seasons that, yes, if we want to be prosperous, if we want to live in sort of that sweet spot of life where we are just, yes, enjoying life, we are content, we are happy, we have some of the desires of our hearts, we're looking forward to some more, we want to live in that sort of sweet spot of the will of God, there is another way to go about it. We see it in our verse today. In everything that King Hezekiah did, in his service to the Lord's temple, in his law and his commands, he sought the Lord wholeheartedly. He sought to please the Lord in everything he did. And so he prospered. One of the things I like about King Hezekiah of the Old Testament is just his very consistent, devoted heart to the Lord. He just wholeheartedly sought to please the Lord in great things and in small things, in difficult times and in times of goodness. And it didn't seem like a chore to him. It seemed like it was fun for him. Like he enjoyed pleasing the Lord. He enjoyed honoring him and learning about him and enacting, you know, reforms in the land of Judah to honor and please the Lord. It wasn't some, you know, like the Lord was twisting his arm. It's like he went wholeheartedly. He wanted to do these things. It wasn't just about him getting, you know, just everything that he wanted, more land or more money or more people just to build his kingdom. No, he sought to build the Lord's kingdom. Dear friend, I have learned time and time again that if we just set about the Lord's business, he will take care of our business. He really will. If we seek to please him, to make him happy, he will see to it that, yes, it comes right back around when we are pleased, when we are happy as well. It happens without fail. We put him in first place. Just like King Hezekiah, and all we do and all we set about, we just put him first. We get to know his ways, what he likes, what he doesn't like, what he is excited about, what he is not excited about, what he loves, what he hates. We spend time with him. We pray. We are in his word. We are around his people. We just make him just the most enjoyable part of our lives. We just love being around him. We see this life as not what we can get out of it and how we can be happy and all the things that we can achieve, but we see this life as how we can make God happy and how we can give to him and how we can help bring his kingdom come to earth as it is in heaven. And I will say one of the best ways to make God happy is to make people happy. We don't have to be afraid that God won't take care of us. He most certainly will. And yes, he has his own timetable that doesn't necessarily match our timetable <laughs> sometimes, but his timetable is always right on time, always. Switch your focus, friends. Instead of seeing what God can do for you and how he can make you happy, switch your focus to see what you can do for the Lord and how we can make him happy. And oddly enough, that is usually what actually brings the prospering part in our own lives. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, please help us to switch our focus, Lord. It is very easy, God, to just kind of focus on us because we are with us all the time, Lord, to focus on what we want and our own desires and our own will, God, to focus on what makes us happy and what we want to achieve, Lord. But please help us, God, to just kind of lay that aside every now and then, Lord, and just focus on you, God, to focus on what makes you happy. 
what you want to achieve, what your plans are, God. Please help us to focus on you, God. You love us, Lord. You have great plans for us, Lord. Plans to prosper us, not to harm us, to give us a hope and a future, God. But help us, Lord, to just know and understand, God, that if we just take care of your plans, Lord, you will take care of our plans, God. You were that good. You were amazing, God, and you can do it better than we can do it. We love you, God. We honor you, and we bless you, God, in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video. I would appreciate it, and I would love to have you guys. Guys, have a great day. God loves you very much. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching. I will see you next time, and God bless you.